Hi guys, welcome back to S. Clark Digital Co. This is Shayla and today we're going to be drawing a zebra. We're going to sketch it out first and make a few layers of sketches before we actually draw the official zebra. So here we're making just the head shape. We're getting an idea of how the face is shaped. And I like to use a, a medium blue pencil for this. Um, I think I'm using a mechanical pencil maybe. I'll have to look. I'll make sure I leave the pencil description below. Here we're finding placement for the eyes. Next, we're going to um, lower the opacity of this layer, create a new layer, and sketch out a little bit more detailed uh, sketch on top of this one. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just kind of getting placement and getting an idea of how everything's going to go. Next, we're gonna lower the opacity on this one. Then we're gonna untick the first layer and get rid of it completely. Then we're gonna add a third layer and do this again with a little bit more detail. Here you can see we're not going to place the um, the lines that kind of give placement for the eyes and stuff like that. This time we're just going to make a basic sketch. And now, um, same thing, drop the opacity, untick layer two, and um, go ahead and pick a technical pin. And now I'm outlining this fourth layer with a technical pin. You can see I'm not being super picky about the hair just yet on the mane. I'm going to try to correct the neck shape just a little bit because this is getting closer to our final product. Now this will be my last layer, um, and I will complete the whole zebra on this layer, but if you wanted to, you could continue to do a separate layer for each section that you work on. So a separate layer for the mane and forelocks, and a separate layer for the eyes, separate layer for the stripes. Um, I just did all of mine together, because this is a real short, quick sketch. I go back and forth from using black and white, and instead of going up to my colors, I just hold my finger down over the white to select white, or hold my finger down over the black to select black again. Here I'm adding um, a little bit more detail to the hair. I never get rid of the old um, sketch of the hair. I just kind of go over it. It all blends in real well. I start out with a little bit thinner of a brush and then I go back and I will actually um, get a thicker brush here in a little bit. Here you go. And it covers up the edges a little bit better, makes everything blend real well. Now I'm going back over with white and doing the same thing just in the sections above where the white stripes will be. Don't forget to close in all your shapes or your screen will turn black. Here I um, am filling in some few details. Whenever you draw something out and fill it in, sometimes it leaves an outer line. And I like to touch that up as I go so that I don't have to go back to each layer and fix it. Now we're gonna go back and kind of take away that V shape from 
um, our white and black stripes and I'm not doing it perfectly so that it still kind of looks like hair. We're going to fill in some of the ear and give that ear some um, shadows and hair. And now we're going to work on the stripes. These are very random stripes. Um, you know, I started out on the face right around the ear, and I worked my way forward to the nose, and then I worked on the neck later. Um, you know, you can, you can look up a picture of a zebra, or you can just randomly kind of put your stripes where you want them. I like that the, the forehead has um, kind of stripes that are shaped almost like a diamond in the center. Um, I think it gives it a little bit more realistic look to it. This was super fun. I really enjoyed making this one. Feel free to um, create one and leave a link for me to check it out or um, comment. Let me know if you've made it or not and what you think. Here I'm going to give some shadow to the nose. I'm making a little bit more room for a more detailed nostril. And then I'm just going to quickly shadow around the nose so that um, it looks proportionate. Just a little bit more shadowing here. Um, almost kind of sloppy. Like I said, I, I did this real quick to show you um, how to make a zebra. And it kind of gives it a um, just a simple look to it. It's not perfect by any means. Adding a few more stripes on the face, and then we'll go back to the neck. And when we start at the neck, we go all the way down. Uh, making those stripes nice and long. Okay, guys. And there you basically have it. Um, I finished off kind of the back with one more big stripe uh, to give it kind of a gradual fading effect here. And um, that's about it. Let me know if you guys have any questions for me. I will leave the brushes in the description below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, follow all the fun things. Um, and I'll see you guys later.